FS19 new mods. I'm UK Gamer 808 and today we're looking at new mods which have just come into the mod hub update. So let's go over there and see what's going on. And we have the Brussels and Laid Shovel Pack. Now I thought this was an update, but no, it's new shovels by Vertex Design. The L16 and the L17 large volume shovels allow you to transport and load various bulk materials. With various customization options, the shovels are adapted to their use. They're under tele loaders. Okay. And then the next one we've got is the Lizard 28 foot bale trailer by 4D Modding. 28 foot bale trailer with creels manufactured by Lizard Engineering in County Carlo Island used for moving bales and pallets or bulk materials. So we've got a few different options available for that one. And then we have the Amazon D840 and this is by Me Flu FS. And then we have the Metal Tech PP20 by Melody98 which is new auger wagon and then the Vadastad Tempo F8 by Melody 98 also and six meter wide one I'll have a look at that and then we also have the large timber frame by module lecture LS mod company a classic timber frame barn with attic and there are two versions with and one without the addition. The barn has seasons mass, seasons ready. Cool. Next we have a open shed by Stoneway Design to use around your map. And then the La Marchos farm building by ETA La Marchos. This wooden farm building can store various farm machinery and tools and build it off as a small extension on the side that will allow farmers to store their goods or even their fodder. Cool, nice looking building. And then we have the province of Quebec flag by Kev the Canadian. Province of Quebec flag, thousand pound, one pound a day. We also had an update for the crops and machinery storage and that was fix TP tip call and update mod desk number and the same for the root crop storage where that season supported now and the agromatics 30 max added lime on that so that is your lot for today right so first one off we will have a look at the bristle and laid shovels which we have the l16 which is a smaller one and then the l17 now you can use them on wheel loaders front loaders telehandlers whatever you want that you have got to pick the option in the shop but it's there if you want it now color wise we've got no not loads of colors but we've got the gray the black green and orange cost 1900 pounds to buy either either one they both save money 96 pounds on your initial leasing cost and minus three on the slot count now the l16 comes in quite a few different options you can have these optional reinforced ribs in there you can see that one i didn't put them in this one i did and also on it it starts at 2080 litres and then goes up to the biggest bucket which is 3110 litres and then on the L17 it starts off at 3030 litres and goes up to 4240 litres so quite big buckets so I've got a wheel loader here and they carry everything as well we're just going to check that now I haven't had any problems with it. I had a little mess around with it. Oh, I just never used to use the, the wheel loaders. Right, so we've got to pick it up and we'll put a bit of lime in. And this is the big bucket, yeah, 4,240. And the main thing is with stuff like this is stability is not that bad actually. It's probably, we have got a slightly bigger bucket. And all tips out, no issues. 
just drop that there and then see if I can pick it back up again off the ground I tried it in the L16 yeah no problems so the advantage of the L16 as well is you can put that on the I think you put this one on the front loader as well for a tractor which is a pretty decent sized bucket it really is so next mod we go over to the metal tech pp20 auger wagon now this is a nice bit of kit comes in the red which is a nice bright red and will cost you 51,000 pounds to buy and 2,601 pounds on your initial leasing cost it does hold 28,000 litres and you do need 200 horsepower to run it. We have got wide tyre options, it's got trail borgs and you can have trail borgs are, they come standard and then the trail borgs wide are 1,400 pound extra and then we have the standard Michelin's which are here but if you want Michelin's wide they're an extra seven, no, three and a half grand and the Michelin's an extra of 1700 so you always pay more for the Michelin's but nice size wagon five on the slot count so it's not too bad whatsoever and cracking detail on on this one really is very nice and brand new and shiny but does it work we will have a look right so let's get this one out put the help window on and basically we have is the tilt on so we can unfold first which is pipe out and then the extra one is on we can tilt up and down like that and also the spout where you want to direct that you can do now it's got the open cover on here as well which is uh, no animation it's on or it's off I do like these little windows as well as you can see you don't have to actually get in and look at and come up behind it and see what's going on now lighting wise just got your main lights on the back and indicators a nice hazard warning triangle on the back of it as well so we can fold that back in and it doesn't take all commodities but the auger wagons never do go through and show you what it does take so we've got wheat barley oats canola soybeans corn seeds fertilizer and that's your lot let's fill it up with a bit of corn so it did say 28,000 litres And there it is, 28,000 litres. Pipe out. I should have brought another trailer really and just loaded it back into. Yeah, we'll load it back into the other auger. I've got this tractor with a four wheel steering and it is a pain in the ass at times. Right, we better try it with a different trailer to make sure it does recognize and it doesn't unload straight away which is uh, good I suppose because it need to be running right so I've now got it set up and surely we should just be able to unload there yeah, there we go we can unload whoa reposition a bit and that was it it was because it wasn't pointing in the trailer I think unload here yeah so you're gonna have to watch that because it's missing the trailer there never mind it 
there it is it's working now you've just got to get it right but it will fire I think it's because I had it on unload as well anyway nice bit of kit cracking mod on to the next so next off we have the 24 foot flatbeds and it comes in four different variants all colors available 14,250 pounds to buy 726 pounds for your initial leasing cost and that's for this basic one here we've gone in the John Deere colors looks pretty smart I like it minus 10 on the slot count you can change the rims are extra 95 pounds and the main colors 385 pounds Michelin's are extra 245 pound knock-ins 65 pounds I think they were the which ones are they they're the Michelin's I think they're the, they're the lizard the lizards are 225 pounds and overall detail on it awesome look at the back of that looks proper job really does now you can have these extra bars and what have you for round bales and square bales which all extra money for square bales is actually 1150 pounds which is i think it's that that option over here actually which is a smaller one and then for the round bales it's this blue one here and that's an extra 1750 and then we have the potato pusher which i didn't quite understand that but i'll show you that just now let's get a tractor so now this is the only one with um well you've got some buttons to press on it now one of the other little features i like about this let's just drop that off on the deck there and you see there there it is i mean the handbrake actually does move so if we zoom in when we pick it up whoop see the handbrake goes down and then the stand comes back up as well which is pretty cool and when you drop it off it does the same thing there's handbrake right then the other thing we've got on on here is this which you can see on there you've got the right and left and it pushes this back and it's a potato pusher and I was like hey I don't know I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on that not sure what is going on now you have got the fold option on there where when you do the fold it opens up the toolbox just like that a nice trailer I don't get on with these trailers this this video is late because this trailer I lost three times it's only two stacks high and they just they don't let you know it's gonna go it just goes and it's too late it's all over and I was just like right I've had enough of these trailers but but that's me personally and then we've got all the hoses going on for it as well it's pretty pretty cool nice trailers just not sure about this potato pusher crack whatsoever but there you go on to the next mod so next we are looking at the Amazon D840 and there it is nice looking mod exceptional detail on it as is everything now 16 grand to buy and it's minus 5 on the slot count and will hold a thousand litres of seed can't fertilize with this one you need 110 horsepower to run it and you can have the optional wide tires if you want easy as that four meters wide working with now you can use this with some of the other cultivators the cultivator what you can put on the tractor and then it attaches to this as well if you want to I can't remember the name of it but it's, it tells you in the shop anyway for that one and then the next one we've got is the tempo v8 mod now this is a uh, 30 grand to buy 1530 pounds on your initial leasing cost 
and is 150 needs 150 horsepower six meters wide 11 that minus 12 on the slot count it will hold I think it's only 696 liters which isn't a lot but does it work we don't know so let's have a look at the tempo first and now once we got the unfold and it's pretty cool the way the lights fold in like that as well the old hopper on the top probably shouldn't have unfolded it first but never mind let's get it under and see if we can take some seeds we got seeds they're in oh, okay so we can have fertilizer at the silo So we've got corn, sunflower, soybeans, sugar beet, and cotton and corn. So let's try it with a bit of soybeans. And I'll tell you what, we'll put the fertilizer worker on because I think it's just that silo. Buy seed, buy fertilizer. I think it's got a nine mile an hour working speed on this one. Or like eight mile an hour. But he's flying along. Cool. Does the job. Is it fertilizing? Growth. Yeah, it is fertilizing. So it is, it was just this doesn't like that silo. It might have been on the wrong side, I don't know. I don't know. But nice mod, folds away. And then lights indicators on the back. A cracking bit of kit detail on it is unbelievable it really is you could take some pictures and think it was real with the right sort of light you you would be convinced it's that is bloody awesome fair play fair dues right so going on to the amazon d840 wasn't it yeah and this one wheat barley oats canola soybeans oilseed radish grass wheat yeah so that's your lot and we better put some seed in it first although it will work i've got the worker on for it but never mind yep that's all filled up and let's run a stripe across I think it's got a, this one might be nine mile an hour. Well, it might be both nine mile an hour. Let's get that worker on the go. Yeah, and they're flying. That is nine mile an hour. And he's chucking that dirt up a bit. Bit of a dust cloud. nice mod especially if you use smaller equipment it's ideal it's four meter that little bit wider makes all the difference right so next mods we have the timber frame barn And um, we've got doors going either side, so it is a drive in, drive out. Now, one has got the little extension on, and the other one hasn't. 
where it's got the attic up there so we got an, enough doors on it. it looks pretty pretty awesome and it cost 21,000 no this one cost 28,540 pounds to buy well you can only buy it you can't lease it uh, what have you up there open that door up and it's minus 12 on the slot count as you can see this one over here let's get that one open it's the same but you just haven't got that extension on the side of it there but it looks nice looking building what more can we say another building for the collection cool then we move on to Le Marchos farm building so this one is £18,500 to buy and is minus five on your slot count and quite basic wooden design on a concrete plinth well concrete sidewalls there no lighting in it though not that we need it, we don't really need lighting, do we? So that's the Le Marchos farm building. And then we have one more, well, two more. I forgot to look at them first before we came over. And here we have the open shed. Pounds, enough to store enough equipment in there. You get a fair bit of kit in there. Minus three on the slot cane. Easy as that. And then we have the province of Quebec flag, which is a thousand pounds and minus three on your slot cane. So that's your lot. Right out. That's your lot today for FS19 New Mods for Farming Simulator. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and if you did, always appreciate you smash that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, why not take a look at my other videos? It's got over 500, it's come out of 550 now, and you've got plenty to choose from. You never know, you might want to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.